It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, we are almost there. We are at the next best thing to a Friday. Just rolling through this week, but we still got our same great sponsors. They're hanging on for all their worth, including Sherwin-Williams House Paint right over there at 315 Jefferson Street, downtown Camden. 836-8125 is the number you call. You ask for Greg Bradshaw. You say, Greg, what kind of house uh, paint do I need to put on the outside or inside of my house? He'll point you in the right direction. First thing he's going to do is say, put the wife on the phone because she's got to pick the color. And we got ProMate and Ambulance, 1-800-634-0436, serving Randolph, Lawrence, Ashley, Union, Dallas, and Calhoun County. Give them folks a call. Get signed up on their priority membership ambulance care program. Tell them Uncle John and Kelly sent you. Without question. Also, J.J. Lindsay down there at the shopping gu- Shopper's Guide can handle all your printing needs. Doesn't matter if you need, like, street signs or, you know, uh, what do you call that, uh, stationery? Stationery, business cards, uh, no trespassing signs, posted signs, get out of here signs, uh, you know, Forget the dog, beware of the owner signs, whatever you need. Exactly. There you go. He can hook you up with all that as well. All right, John, what do you want to talk about here today? Well, you know, last week the rock and roll world lost a member of, a great, great member of of, of rock and roll. Uh, uh, royalty. Royalty. The object of mine and every other teenager's affection, you know, when Uh-oh. in the 70s, you know, Christine McVie of uh, Fleetwood, Mac. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, you know. Uh, now, if you put her and Stevie Nicks side by side, everybody would look at Stevie first. But Christine had that look about her, you know, that, uh, I mean, she'd been there. Yeah. She was, she'd been there. She'd done it. She was experienced. She well, was. You always preferred blondes anyway. You know, she was the mature one of the bunch, gotcha. you know. Now, Stevie Nicks is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But, but Christine McVie had that, she had that look of experience behind her, you right. know. Uh, you know, she was born and, uh. 19, uh, 1943 in Booth, Lancashire, England. Wow. And uh, she married John McVie of Fleetwood Mac in 1968, and they moved to the United States in 1974. And then in 1975, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks joined Fleetwood Mac. And the rest, as they say, is history. It was on, baby. Well, on like Donkey Kong. When rumors came out in 1977, there's no telling how many gozillions of those albums that were sold. Uh, you know, Rhiannon was one of my favorite songs uh, of that era because Stevie Nicks just had that way of singing it. But Christine McVie was the solid rock and roll uh, pianist of the, of you know, the one that, that you could count on being there. There you go. You know, her and John McVie didn't stay married a great long time, uh, but it, they never let that come between, you know, them and the band. Uh uh, there's no, t- <laughs> I've I've saw a couple read stories and and saw a couple of documentaries about the band. And they just had a unbelievable touring schedule, you know, mm. uh, during the 70s and early 80s. I don't see how anybody could live up to it and survive. Yep. Uh, other than probably a lot of cocaine and <laughs> a lot you know, of speed, a lot of speed, a lot of cocaine. But you know, she was she started out in a group called Chicken Shack. Huh. Which is where she met John McVie. Oh, but, darn. but um, you know, they they were just in the seventies. They wasn't any bigger, you know, any bigger than Fleetwood Mac. Oh no, I, I never got to see them. I never got to see them live. But you know, uh, we would sit like we did so many of those albums of those days. You know, the Eagles and and, and those type folks. You know, uh, we would just sit and just listen to those albums. You know, we'd, we'd listen to one side, turn it over, listen to the other side, and then turn it over and listen to it again. There you go. But she was she was a uh, staple in the rock and roll business and, uh, you know, uh, just just uh, a force to be reckoned with in those days. And, and you know. Well, so, I'll be honest. Just slightly before my time, now don't get me wrong. I'd heard of Fleetwood Wood Mac and, uh, you know, heard of all their great songs. What uh, Reflections by Stevie yes. Nicks, you know, tremendous song and all that kind of stuff. But 
I'll be honest. I was surprised with the day that she passed away. Facebook was flooded with all kinds of ladies who said, you have no idea what kind of influence this young lady had on me back in my youth. I mean, it was everywhere. And that's like with Stevie. Stevie, you had the visual look. But, you know, she was not a musician. She was a singer. Right. But Christine McVie was a, she was a entertainer, a musician, a singer, a composer, a songwriter. The total package. The total package. And she, like I said, she had that look of experience. Absolutely. I'll take that look of experience over youthful beauty any day. Absolutely. There you go. Hey, that's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John. For today, we'll be back tomorrow for Top Tune Friday. I wonder who we could possibly talk about on Top Tune Friday as well. But, uh, hey, I guess we'll find out then. See you then, John. See you tomorrow, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.